Well, hey Aquarius, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, so Aquarius, this is just a weekend reading, okay? I'm gonna come back on Sunday, but this is pretty much like for Friday, Saturday, going into Sunday night, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and see what you guys are gonna be going through, what you guys are gonna be facing. We're gonna use these Oracle cards, and then uh, we're gonna get in, into the Tarot. It's not gonna be a really long reading, but we'll see, okay? <laughs> so this is for Aquarius. Aquarius. One more for Aquarius. One more for Aquarius. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, I have childhood wounds. Ooh. Be careful when you're around your family this weekend. Because, you know, sometimes if you guys are dealing with family... It could be anybody. Anybody can trigger childhood wounds. So I'm not, you know, I guess it really doesn't matter. But just be careful because, you know, sometimes people who have um, some type of wounds from childhood, especially if they're around their family, tend to be, it tends to get triggered really easy. Here it says your inner child, your inner child is looking to heal so that you can move on by understanding the situation in a new light. Now, this could be in a love situation, too. It says, going within to heal requires self-love and compassion. Gaining perspective through energy work or therapy could be very helpful to access uh, tools to help you empower your inner child. So a lot of you guys have been affected by some things that you may have gone through in the past, whether it was like even, it could, it could be neglect, but neglect could be in a way where someone, a parent ignored a child. It could be something like that, right? And you could feel ignored by your lover and it's being and you're being triggered or um, loyalty, that type of thing. So just be careful because a lot of you guys are definitely in this energy. And the only reason why I say that is because the next card that came out was isolation. Some of you guys are feeling this way and some of you guys are this way. And you, some of you guys may feel like you don't even have a choice but to be lonely, right? Or to be by yourself rather. And you feel lonely. Here it says there's a tendency to push people away. Um, whether you're doing it or, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, to me with this card, I'm just going to read the card, but I don't necessarily think that this is what I feel you guys are thinking. It says there's a tendency to push people away or maybe people are not in your life, okay? Um, but it happens if you are feeling uncomfortable. It says look into ways, new ways to break down the walls to create better ways to connect with people. And I definitely agree with that. Some of you guys may have to just expand um, your thoughts about how you um, bring in new friends and people, new people in your life. And I feel like this is important, especially if you've gone through a lot. You just feel like, I just don't want to be bothered with anyone. Don't isolate yourself, okay? Here it's, it says, it's not personal, okay? Projection. It says, many times other project their own pain onto you, okay? So this situation is not personal and sometimes it can be personal, okay? It says, but rather an opportunity for compassion for yourself and other people and, uh, or of the other person involved. It says, stop taking the blame by automatically thinking it's your fault. Have discernment of what you own, but also what isn't your problem. Let's just say, now this is interesting. Let's just say you're dealing in a love situation, right? And the only reason I want to get to the family part, but let's just say it's a love situation. You know, you've done everything in your power to make something work with someone. And you're like, I, I'm not doing anything wrong. And like they admit that you're not doing anything, but yet you still feel like you are not doing enough. Just be careful about that because, you know, other people have their own problems too. And a lot of times they can't handle it, can't deal with it. And they're, they're trying to be adults and adulting and adult connections and situations, but they act like children. And some of you guys have already gone through this and some of you guys may be going through this now. So just be careful to not, uh, you know, um, absorb other people's emotions and their energies to cause you to feel lonely or isolated or um, unstable. OK, that's that's definitely what I'm saying here. And it, they could, this could also be triggering your childhood wounds. Maybe your person has childhood wounds, okay? That's being triggered, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get one card from the Art of Manifestation here. This is going into the weekend, so this is for Aquarius. Aquarius. This is for Aquarius.
This is for Aquarius. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Bless your past. So just being able to let things go. Yeah, it says a tool to help us let go of any emotional residue. So if there's any type of emotional re residue with your past, be able to let it go for a lot of you as far as so you can move on. That's what I'm saying. It says what you're waiting for is a yes. So whatever question that you guys had in your mind, whether it's with love, family, a job, here, this is really encouraging, right? This is something that's coming up for you that says that you're going to get it here with the yes card. I love that for you, Aquarius. Isn't this exactly what we've been seeing anyway with love and money? So it's like, will I have love? Yes. Will I have money? Finance, financial uh, stability and security? Yes. This is what I've been seeing in your readings anyway. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get into your very small tarot reading. Hopefully some of those cards are going to help you guys out this weekend. But we're going to go ahead and get into your tarot reading here for the weekend for Aquarius Aquarius okay Aquarius wow all right let's get one more for Aquarius okay thank you some of you guys have a huge lack of your heart. Isn't it interesting at the bottom of the deck is the hermit and we were just talking about lonely and isolation. Aquarius, Aquarius. You guys are missing home. You're, you're missing something. There's a lack here. Maybe you guys have left home, left your person or in general, you just, it, it is a matter. Let's get to the feeling. Not said it doesn't matter, but let's just get to the heart of the matter, which is your feeling. There's a lack here. There's something that's missing and it's causing a lot of problems emotionally, okay? Maybe you guys feel a little unstable. I do feel home here though, but something here is dealing with your home, your home life, something about your home life. Whether it's not enough money or um, whether it has something to do with your, your relationship with your person, yeah. I do think that here, maybe there's not enough communication here with the page of source, not enough information um, for you guys to move on. I do that. I do see that you guys are keeping your eye on someone that could be causing a lot of instability too. Maybe you're seeing things that's causing a lot of emotional instability. Here with the judgment card, I do feel like there's going to be an opportunity presented here. Um, this does talk about a phone call conversation. So maybe this is going to be a good time to express yourself if you guys receive some type of message. But let's go ahead. Let's see what this is all about. I do see a lot of sad energy surrounding you, Aquarius. Let's get the five of pentacles for Aquarius. Okay. Ooh, okay, really good here with the Ace of Wands. So a lot of you guys are um, maybe feeling some kind of way about your job. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough for your job. You, this is or have enough money. Um, this is a really encouraging card to see, particularly with the Ace of Wands, because that talks about career a lot. So I do see something here happening. I also feel like there's going to be something that's exciting that's going to happen. Um, that's going to put a huge spark in your heart. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You're going to get out of this lack energy. Oh, I love to see it. Something brand new here. Let's get the Four of Wands. The answer to the question, right? I love it. Look at this. Wow, you guys, you also had another ace here with the ace of cups. I'm seeing this here. Wow. All, you know, these aces trumped this, right? So this does talk about a new love. I see um, finances getting better. We just said this before I pulled out the tarot cards, right? Remember, we were talking about the answer to your question is yes. Because some of you guys are going through this right now. You're having difficult emotions. You guys are having some issues here. But I'm definitely seeing that you guys are going to get what you want. Wow. Let's go ahead. Love, passion. Wow. Let's get the page of swords. Wow. 
yeah, someone is eyeing you here, or you guys are checking someone out with the page of uh with the page of swords in the lovers card. I do feel like some of you guys are wondering if the, if there's other people um, that your person is dealing with. Maybe you're wondering if somebody else is around. It could possibly be someone else um, that's hanging around your person or your spine on your person because they are dealing with another person. But I do see love here for you and it's gonna be the real deal. So some of you guys are in connections where you feel lonely and um, you know you could be married and your person is out here in these streets, okay? <laughs> and it's not funny, but truly. Um, but I do see there is going to be a turnaround for you. There's going to be justice here for you throughout your whole reading. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's get the judgment card. Wow. This is amazing. Judgment for Aquarius. So judgment here does talk about meditating. You guys are going to be thinking very hard about what you want to do, about the decisions you're going to make in life. Um, here with the King of Wands, this does have to have something to do with a love connection and also has something to do with you being able to move forward. This is taking action. You guys are at a pinnacle point in your life. There are so many beautiful things that are going to be here for you. So maybe you are um, in this hermit energy here and also this isolation. You got hermit twice. So much lonely energy. So many, so much to think about. Um, but whatever decision you make, I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. The universe has your back. They're going to give you what you need in order to move forward. Okay. That's what I'm saying here, Aquarius. So this is what I have for you guys for the weekend. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe and go follow me on IG. Just go ahead and type in Yasmin Star, Yasmin Star in the search box uh, and you guys will be able to see me. I love you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.